All right, hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, today is an exciting day. I'm gonna be shooting a video today covering how to install the, um, the wall charger. I will not be doing it today. Uh, having a uh, electrician come out and do this, just make sure that everything is done correctly. I've done electrical work before, but this is something that when you're dealing with um, a car such as a Tesla, um, you probably don't wanna mess up your you know, power source to uh, charge your car every night. So um, just quickly, as you guys know, um, if you've been watching my videos, I actually had um, stated that I was going to be using a supercharger uh, to help um, kind of dwindle down some of the cost of having the car since it's not too far away. But um, after doing that for, well, we're now on just over two months, um, I will have to say that um, driving over there, um, although not super inconvenient, uh, still, I have to kind of figure out where I'm going to do that in my schedule. And then the other piece is um, I sit there for about an hour. So uh, it's really time is money. And, um, and for me, I found out that uh, when I go on uh, longer trips, it's certainly I'll use superchargers. It is what it is. Um, but I would much rather just get up and go uh, to, uh, to work. So... Um, uh, let's take a look. So before we get started, one other thing that I wanted to share with you guys today, um, as if you're going to buy a Tesla, a couple things you need to know. So the one wall connector, um, there, you got really two options. One's $500 and one is $550. And I said, well, for 50 more bucks, let's just get the longer cord. So I did, I believe that's a 24 foot cord. The other one's I think a eight foot cord if I'm not mistaken. Um, that's one thing to keep in mind. Now when finding an electrician, I wanted to ensure that I found somebody that has actually installed these connectors before, isn't learning how to do this for the first time and can really come out here and just kind of blaze through the work. Um, so I went on my Tesla website, which I have. Everybody builds an account when you're making your purchase. And on there, they actually have a section for charging. And so I went through there and it actually has a section to say find an electrician. And there were only two options available um, here in, in the Aurora area. Uh, I called the first one and actually it ended up that they don't service this far west of Chicago. So, um, so that was not an option. And then I called the other one. Uh, I will give you the details down in the description below. Um, and the owner came out, uh, he, fantastic guy, walked through kind of the process and uh, really made me feel comfortable that they, um, that they really know how to do this. They said they're installing about, you know, um, anywhere from two to seven a week. Um, you know, and they're becoming more and more popular. So um, really nice guy and uh, really confident that they'll be able to get the work done uh, here today, okay? All right, so we have the uh, um, one wall connector here ready to go. Um, the nice thing about this is that the uh, electrician that I have coming out today um, actually uh, is very familiar on how to install these. And, um, and it's actually gonna go right here. I did get the, um, I did get the longer cable uh, for this. Uh, so this way, whether I park on um, the left side, I will show you either the, the left side or the right side. Um, so if I, if I park over here, that's, that's easy. The normal um, length cord would work. But if I happen to park over here one night, um, I want to be able to still reach without any problems and, um, and still charge the car. So let's take a look and see what that looks like.
All right, so uh, just got the car pulled in. Let's go ahead and uh, we will pull the unit off. Let's get it unwound and uh, get the cord untangled here a little bit. All right. All right, success so far. Wonderful. All right, so we have green light. We've got a beautiful green light, and that's how it works. So, um, like I uh, like I stated uh, before, uh, my idea was to use the superchargers, but. Time is money. I, I still have one near the house. I will stop by it every once in a while, but this is going to be such a convenient uh, feature for me to have at home to be able to just be fully charged uh, whenever I need to go anywhere. Super excited about getting the install. Um, I'll certainly give you an update as to how I enjoy having it in the house as I go forward. Uh, appreciate the, the view. Uh, appreciate uh, the likes down below and uh, any subscriptions or subscribes uh, that I don't currently have. Uh, keep watching um, on my future videos. I've had some requests as to battery size and options. I'll also include my thoughts as to having the in-home wall charger on my next video. Thanks for watching, guys.